Mr. Juan Cortez, this better have been worth it, although I kind of already know it was. This is where things start to get crazy. Oh yeah, Juan. <laughs> this is Resolver Danny. Depleted uranium. Soviets left these sexy byproducts of nuclear enrichment behind in the 80s. Yankees use it for tank armor and bullets. <laughs> crazy assholes. Sounds dangerous. You'll be a fucking superhero, Danny. Lita and I used to sneak these into the orphanage. Essential reading while waiting to fuck up convoys in the mud. <laughs> a guerrilla must be a sponge for inspiration. Okay. What the hell is this? This is a supremo. Looks like a rocket launcher. <sighs> See? She does that too. One more thing. I want you to meet Tostador. Let's Beautiful. go together like fire and fury. I like how you resolve her, Juan. So do I. So we've got a, a portable mortar on our back now, Stay which is uh, is pretty incredible, I'm not gonna lie. Remus are like a good lover. Or a great sandwich. Are you just hungry, Juan? Yes. But I'm talking about layers, Danny. Head to the workbench and I'll show you. Okay. Supremos aren't just simple tools of destruction, Danny. They carry gadgets that can make your dreams of chaos come true. Let's take a look at that Supremo. The special ingredient that makes this all happen is Supremo Bond. You need it to make your gadgets. Pick a gadget, Danny. This is a safe space. There's no wrong answer here. Perception grenade tags nearby enemies. Dynamite. It's a device and a timed fuse that is effective against vehicles. Excellent. Let's blow some now stuff up. To Clara. Time to give that Supremo a workout. So we've got explosives. We've got flamethrowers. We've got we need to talk. mortar backpacks. Let's find out what we're going to be doing with this. I don't need this. to tell you that Viviro is the lifeblood of Castillo's regime. He's built work camps to produce it all over Yara. These plantations use outcasts as slaves to grow the tobacco plants they turn into Viviro. These are our people, Danny. Beaten, tortured, sprayed by poison chemicals. There's a camp on this island. We tried to destroy it when we invaded. We failed. Now, we're going to finish the job. I'm gonna finish the job. Julio is waiting for you at a nearby barn. All right. Hit that slave them. camp hard. Suerte. Dude, this is... The, the guerrilla paths are so cool. Look how far away this thing is. Oh, can I pick this up? for a test drive of that Supremo. Now, if things get too heavy with the soldados, just pull the trigger. But one tiny, tiny thing you should know. Uh-huh. The Supremos are in an experimental phase. <laughs> they need time to breathe after you use them. You know, so they don't overload and kill you. Could have told me before I strapped to my back. Just let that Supremo feed off the blood of your enemies. What? <laughs> You'll get it, Danny. <laughs> You'll get it. But yeah, these, these, oh, 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 oh. I was just going to say these paths are so sick and then we, we almost fell off the side, the side of the mountain. Please let me get back up. Okay, we're, we're, we're back up. Um, come on. I got to you gotta start at the very base. You can't just jump to it there. But yeah, look at this, man. Instead of going around the mountain, we've got pathways through caves and over ravines and all kinds of cool stuff. It's uh It's pretty incredible. So we're gonna go meet Julio down here. I mean, to be honest, one of our What is this? Oh, it's a rappel point up. Oh, interesting. Okay. I was gonna say one of our one of our best things has gotta be our, our parachute, right? Like let's let's just start using this at, at will at random and we're gonna be able to traverse very quickly. Finally. Listen, I'm not gonna bullshit you. I wanted to do this alone, but Clara gave me an order. I can handle myself. Don't give a shit. So could Lita. She should be here right now, but instead I get you. And I'm supposed to be in Miami. But instead, my two best friends are dead, and I'm stuck here with you. So, truce? Enough talk. Step one, we hit the tobacco. 
Step two, we destroy their poison supply. Step three, we get the fuck out of there and Castillo gets a nice pretty message from Libertad. Got it. Take this gear. It'll protect you from fire and more importantly, Castillo's fucking poison. Okay. Let's go take it down, Julio. So the Fuego mitts are, are completely flame retardant there. Automatically gonna put fire out. That's pretty exciting. And then we've also got, uh, I mean, that that is absolutely terrifying. Protects your eyes from poison. Okay, beautiful. Using We're gonna right go. Protective gear in the right situation will keep you alive. Rule yeah, number right 72. For the right job. Been hearing that a lot lately. Listen, Julio. Lita was like a sister to me. She shouldn't have been on that fucking boat. She died because of you, Rojas. Oof. No. Anton Castillo killed Lita. If I could change anything, it would be me dying on that beach. Lita was a better person than I could ever be. And if she loved you, well, that just says a lot about who you are. Enough. Look, if you and I are going to do this, we need to know about the poison. You mean that shit they spray on the leaves? Its real name is PG-240, but we call it the poison because it fucks up your system. Try not to breathe it or get it on your skin. It can make you go fucking crazy or sick, like deep down sick. And if that doesn't get you, the cancer that grows inside you will. Coño. So you're military. Mark so there's cancer on an anti-cancer drug? What's your thing? I'm good with guns. We get along. We'll start thinking. That gear I gave you is good for fire and poison, but guerrillas need gear that fits their style, no matter the situation, or they get themselves killed. This is a good place to scout it. Right behind you. Let's see what we're up against. All right. Up here, Dali. I like this whole scouting things out, kind of knowing what to expect. Got to be crafty, man, when it's... You know, a few hundred versus a few hundred thousand. You got to be really smart about every move that you make. See the Vivido tobacco and the yellow poison tanks? See. Si. Punch holes in the tanks to let the poison out into the air. Fun fact. Poison and fire make a hell of a mix. Ah. Same idea with the fumigators. They're hard to kill, but they can't take the heat. You've got a flamethrower. You've got that Supremo. Time to fuck up all this Vaviro bullshit. You know, Lita and I had a ritual. Psych us up before battle. A song. Hit me. El movimiento de libertad. Oh, bella ciao, bella ciao. Bella ciao, ciao, ciao. Yeah, I gotta go, dude. It, it, your song's not not that great. Sorry, man. I appreciate you, but okay. So he said, "Let the poison out." Is gonna be one of our first things, and then from there, start using our our fire and flames, baby. So I'm gonna go with the silencer off the bat. You're free. I really want to just... Can I just shoot through the fence? <laughs> Woo! There it is, baby! Yeah, I'm not... Yes, sir. I'm, I'm not waiting around. Here we go. It's time to go loud. Good night. We got more baddies over here. Probably could have looked for some sort of a... Some sort of a... A what's it called? An alarm would have been would have been a, a smart idea. We're gonna be okay though. Definitely should have shut down the alarm, Trev. Let's make sure we, we do that in future endeavors. Holy cow, um, dynamite? How do I throw this? <laughs> Gotta hear real quick. Ah! No, 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 no. Get out of here, doggy. Sorry, buddy. You're a good boy, but 
Just not that good of a boy. We do have our Supremo that we can use, so I'm thinking about thinking about using that. Here we go. Let me just get right in the middle. There it is. That's what I'm talking about. That's how we get things done. It's time to start torching the field, eh? Here we go. I love that the, the flamethrower has two different modes. You've got like a close mode, and then when you ADS, it's got kind of like a long spray. Goodbye to everything. Hello, good morning, and good night. I really hope I'm not going to get copyright struck for this music, but the music makes it so good, I kind of feel like we got to we gotta keep it. Is there, is there, hold on, let me, I'd like everyone to be able to see this video and not have it region locked or anything. I don't see any copyright music options. Dude, it, the music is 100% what makes it, so whatever. It, it's, it's fine. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn, baby. Usher taught us that back in the day. Ah, we've got more, hold on, we've got, we've got more tanks over here. Woo! Now, can we set the... Can we set the, the... The red stuff on fire? This is probably a terrible idea here. Oh, my goodness. Love it. This is so satisfying. All the people of, of Yada are struggling. This is what's keeping him in, in power. And we're taking everything down, baby. Come on. I think we gotta... We gotta shoot it. got to have the red coming out and then goodbye Woo! just a little bit more here we're at 99% we're actually out of of ammo there it is okay on my way time to get the heck out of here beautiful job this is the pistol we got in the bottom of that thing by the way it's not a... I thought it was going to be a fully auto pistol, but it's just very fast. That's familiar. Dude. That was incredible. What a, what a sick mission. Just laying flames all over everything. Good, bro? Oh, I think he... Is he injured? He might be injured. Woo! That's how we get it done. Sorry, I almost shot you, brother. Come on, get up. We gotta go. We gotta get the heck out of here. Come on, let's... Julio, just run. We ain't gonna fight him. It's not worth it, Julio. Julio, I'm gonna need you to not hold us back next time. All right, brother? When it's time to go, we just gotta get the heck out of there. Don't don't lollygag around. Don't wait. Oh, yeah. Don't... Just hightail it out of Shit. there. Shit. You really can hold your own. I don't want to say I told you so, but... <laughs> Look, we should move. That was a hell of a light show, and they're going to see the smoke. We work well together. See, si. listen, if you were good with Lita, you're good with me. Gracias, Dan. New friend. Meet you back at camp. Beautiful. Right. Let's get out of here, boy. So we came back to camp, and now Clara has sent us on a mission to go find Benito, which is a friend of hers. He runs a, um... Kind of like a, a, a boat business or something. He's an ex-giddy. He runs a shipyard. He's going to be our key to potentially having boats to be able to get out of here. Attack the blockade and get back to the, the hideout in the mainland. I just love this. I love this setting, man. This is so nice. The palm trees, the blue water, the everything. That was quite the way to exit the horse. All right, fancy pants. Let's not do that again. See? My man's is eating good out here. Let me guess. Clara Garcia talked you into this. She even had us fishers hooked on her Libertad nonsense. 
convinced us to help her little invasion of Sanctuario. Lost five of my best. Now Clara calls me begging for boats. More recruits. Pfft. I'm a pirate first. Fisher second. Hmm. Thank the blockade for that. We use our boats to pull fish from the sea. And we get people and contraband past the army. But El Presidente died in his grip. The new Comandante, Rosario, has locked down all the fuel to keep it out of Libertad's hands. Murders anyone who dares get near it. So I get the fuel, Clara you help me out. Us to help Libertad? Take back that refueling station. Kill Rosario. Help put food back on our tables. And it looks like we're going to get a fishing rod for it as well, which is, is kind of exciting. All right, I'm down for it. Appreciate your scraps. Let's uh, back to the horse. Let's go. You want me to steal one? I've been doing that since I was a kid. You're in the big list now. You need a car? Just call for one. I'll have a friend bring it right to you. Gracias. But you don't have any friends, Juan. Just shut up and call for a car, Danny. You want me to call for a car? Juan's 1956 Beaumont. I need a ride. Valentina. Hello, sir. Oh, we've even got ammo in the trunk? Keys are in the ignition. Don't wreck this one, okay? Gracias, gracias. Beautiful. You can only do that once every 30 minutes, but that's, I mean, that's pretty exciting. That's pretty solid. All right, let's ride out. Time to go to the gas station and take care of business. Uh, <clears throat> I didn't mean to. It was an accident, Your Honor. Oh, what in the world Heading is going on Heading to the fuel depot. Benito wants me to take it back from the army. It's an extensive base now. We have bases all over Riata. We want freedom. We want to break their group on the island. I'll do what I can, Clara. Dude, the, the Libertad was fighting on that base back there. We just went Clara, right through it. I'm at the depot. Libertad needs that fuel. So taking that depot isn't just about dealing with the army. It also means securing that gasoline. You've got to do this smart, Danny. Find some high ground and use your phone to scout out cameras and alarms. Yeah, yeah, I got you. I'm planning on it. All right. Try to be stealthy. Definitely want to take care of the alarms, dude. If, if you don't, if you don't, you know, stop the alarms before they happen you're you're in for a bad time so i'm gonna do here let's actually let's go into our thing i'm gonna take the flamethrower off and we're gonna throw our yarn sra sniper on can i silence this sniper though so let's see muzzle socket wrestle bear suppressor we could get that russian suppressor american suppressor so one is going to give you better handling and less velocity I mean, it feels like the Russian suppressor is better. I'm going to put the Russian suppressor on it. Sorry. Sorry, America. Optical socket. Don't want iron sights or anything. Ammo socket can't change. Okay. So now we're going to have a, a good old sniper rifle. Going to put this thing to good use. Very first sniper. Make sure we tag everyone first. All right, so we can we can see a camera. I see a healer. I see you, sniper. Another sniper. Another guy over there. I mean, do we take the sniper out? Bye. The alarm's got to be on this thing. I would think first thing first, take out the alarm. Is going to be by far the most the most important piece to this puzzle. Oh. I don't even think we got to take out that camera. Should kill the alarm. Ujita. Just laying waste to these fools. Okay, watch yourself, Danny. 
the medic makes me a little bit nervous. I don't know what his deal is. He's dead. Okay. You guys think we can jump to this? Oh. Okay, this is pretty sick. I feel like Spider-Man out here. We've got that guy there, but I think... Does he have somebody next to him that might see him? There's a gator that we could let out. One, two... Whoop! Buckle my shoe. I bet this place has a stash room. Whoo, dude! Danny's kind of a beast, I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. Didn't miss a single shot, just tore it up. All right, so this fuel station's been captured. We have to do... We had three of them. Marked on the map. Cabeza Fuel Depot. The head fuel depot. F&D base has been captured. So she said something about a, a stock room. I definitely want to find a stock room if that exists. I don't know you. Fast travel location. Obviously, I mean, there's going to be all kinds of stuff in here. We just got to search Perito, around. Perito, fuel station is open again. You can take as much as you need. Okay, Danny. But now is the hard part. The Comandante Rosario is a murderer. And she's not going to stop. As long as she is alive, this island is safe. I hear you, Benito. So we're gonna go kill her. Obviously, it's, it's gonna be a big thing. We can call for vehicles here. I'm just kind of trying to look. She said something about a stash depot. Ah, we had the key. Now we can open this up. Beautiful FND stash. That's what I'm talking about. The RPD LMG. Don't mind if I do LFG, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to throw... I'm curious. Uh, that thing looks short for an RPD. Wow. Yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to rock with this for sure. Should I do like a little... Ooh. I mean, for a close quarters weapon, it's going to be pretty good. Uh, big, you know, clip size, drum mag size, whatever you want to call it. So... Close quarters, fast rate of fire, medium range, long range. We've we've got it kind of figured out here. Okay. So, we want to go assassinate the Commandant. She is going to be in one of the other two, I guess. Fastest thing is probably going to be to, to fast travel. We've got tunnels through mountains. Ooh, look at that sunset, dude. Holy cow. We're going to have the cover of night. That's going to be convenient for us, that's for sure. So it looks like our first one's here. Yeah, taking care of a commandante problem for Benito. I'm gonna try to get up top. The military in Benzejo is much stronger, better equipped, and better trained. Find some high ground, do some scouting before you pull the trigger. Remember, rule number nine, right tool for the right job. We should have stayed in the Guerilla paths. You're an adult and can make your own decisions. Spread your wings and fly, little bird. Let's go. Okay. It's good to say, definitely would have helped out to be up top. We took a bit of a fast route with the, the vehicle, but it's I should keep it's an eye out for Rosario. For okay. That must be Rosario. Well, that was nice and easy. Let's, uh... Hmm. It looks like this pathway might go go up this way a little bit. Got a few more that we haven't tagged yet. Want to make sure we get everyone. Machine guns. Oh shoot! It's starting to rain, dude. Okay, so first, first order of business is is going to be taking down Overwatch up here. I'm nervous because they said that these enemies are tougher. They're they're a, a much tougher, you know, level than ours. That's one way to do it. So I don't I don't think our sniper is going to be a one shot kill. Comandante Rosario. Okay, we definitely we definitely don't want anybody getting in the tank. Probably focus her first. Or do we hit this guy first? Uh, 
Nice and quick. Come on now, come on. Now nobody's gonna be able to get in the tank. Can I get in the tank? Wouldn't that be something? I don't think I can get in the tank. Dead? Okay, yep, he, uh, big, big guy's an issue. Um, yeah, the sniper does almost nothing. The machine gun does, though. Okay, we're, we're good. Holy cow. That was, that was dangerous. Um, yeah, I... So we're in a, an area of the map that technically we shouldn't be in yet. These guys are all much higher levels than us, which is, is why it was looking a little bit sketchy. I'm going to take this and don't mind if I do. Just get the heck out of here. Rule 73. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It is won by the fear. I would imagine Anton's probably going to start fearing us. If we, if we keep messing up all his stuff like this, taking out his, his commanders... Taking over the island, things are going well. You want us to take down Anton's ships? We're goddamn fishermen. Then leave us to die again, compai. The fuck are you doing? Try it. It's fun. What's the plan, Heffa? For Anton to see us from the fucking capital? Yes. Well, it's working. You've got 20 minutes until Anton's forces come. So you better start running. Go! I said, run! Rules of the guerrilla, Juan Cortez. A revolution is not won by the fearless. It's won by the feared. What does Anton Castillo fear? Free Nothing. elections, free expression, free outcasts. Ayara, free of Castillos. But he will fear nothing. Unless you are willing to die for your freedom today. Not when we have more believers or more guns, today. Because today, I'm going to punch a hole through Castile's warships! I am not fearless. I am scared as hell. But I promise you one thing. I will be feared. Viva Libertad. Let's go! Come on, team! It's Viva time to fight back! Viva Libertad. Viva Libertad. Let's go home, Grias. Does she know what she's doing? Who cares, Danny? She knows what we need. See you from the sky, guerrilla. Oh, he got his helicopter up and working, huh? Okay. Nice. Nice job, man. Libertad rises. Anton, we're coming for you, man. Just be ready for it. Question is, what's our plan? Are we gonna? How are we gonna take out warships? That seems like a, a bit of a tall order, but I'm Daddy, down to try. You copy? You get that chopper up and running? See, si, but there's an anti-aircraft cannon blocking the airspace around Castillo's warships. Okay, Juan, I'll take it out. Sirio, because if it gets me, I'll make sure my fiery corpse comes down on you like a meteor. <laughs> Well, we don't want that, buddy. All right, so it looks like first one's gonna be over there. Don't really have any fast travel points. I guess there's only, is there only one? Come on. That'd be convenient if there's only one. Let's go That's take it a out. Good horse. Danny, I wanted to tell you something. Hell of a speech you gave. Listen to me. Whatever happens now, I wanted to thank you for everything you've done for Libertad and for me. Thank me once we've blasted through Castillo's blockade. See you on the other side, Danny. Help myself to some spray Go cans. Ahead. I don't know. I'm assuming those are probably for like weapon weapon skins and stuff, but I'm not sure. Shoot. Back up to a level four territory. We're gonna be careful because we can't I mean if you shoot too many times in a row, your suppressor loses its its Suppressiveness. There's the officer. Is 
Looks like we're gonna have one more down there. So we're just looking to to blow this thing up. This is not a good situation. We've got somebody in the back side over here too. Did I Yep. Well Don't call for air support. Get that out of here. Oh my god, I didn't realize what that was. Whew, we're good. I think there might be more coming, but we've we've got like a thumper thing that we're gonna be able to use if we if we want it. There's somebody up over here. Okay. Yep. Got him. Okay. Oop, didn't get him. This RPD has... Thank you for destroying that for me. Holy cow, you threw a grenade at it. That was not a very good idea. This RPD has a, an interesting setup of recoil. I don't know if I love it. Probably... Probably gonna swap back out to the foul. But we'll, we'll make it work for now. Hey, Juan. Anti-aircraft cannons out. The sky is yours. Now go get those ships. And Juan will be your avenging angel of death. Whatever. As long as you got my back. <laughs> I've got your back. A fresh cigar and 12,000 rounds of divine wrath. Perfect. This lighthouse is going to be the perfect spot to examine what we've got going on, scout things out, see what we're up against. Clara, I'm close to Castillo's ships. Muy bien, Danny. You'll be boarding those ships as our assault element. Julio, where are you? Oh, I'm getting on the ships. With an RPG in perfect line of sight to the ships. Want to hear your voice, Raisa? Top of the tower, round in the chamber, scope dialed in. One? Buckle up, guerrillas! Air Juan is in the skies, and my bullets are hungry. Air Juan. We take those ships and we punch a fucking hole straight to our island. We get one shot at this, Libertad. Okay, so we just got a new rifle there. This might be kind of exciting. Unique rifles, Viva Libertad! It's a little bit less damage, a little bit more accuracy. Also improves reload speed and headshot kills, recruit, oh, bonus Supremo charge. Yeah, that's that's gonna be, that's gonna be very solid right there. I'm, See you on the I'm other down side. for that. Here we go. Time to, uh, time to go up top and get this done. Quite the sketchy climb right there, that's for sure. Refill all of our ammo. Danny, you want to use your camera to check out the defenses on those ships. Look before you leave. If Lita was with us now, she'd be smiling. And halfway to those ships already. If Lita was here, I'd kick her ass for keeping you a secret. Take care of yourself, Julio. Should disable the alarm. Disabling the alarm is going to be the most important part. Looks like the alarm's in the back side of each of the ships. I'm not seeing a bunch of, of men walking around. There's a guy up top there. Oh, it looks like there's two alarms on each ship. If they can't set the alarms, then we're going to be in great shape. That's going to be massively important. But I think we might have to set off or to destroy the alarms on each ship before we really start fighting could could be interesting do we think we can hit one of the alarms from here I'm back up today, come mierdas. okay so there's a second one there there's one on the back of that ship and there's one over there it's time to go I don't think there's much more preparation we're going to be able to do. Time to just float on in here. We're going to go silent, but deadly. And we're going to try to take this thing out without notifying any of the, the troops. If they call in backup, that's where we're going to be in trouble. We're going to have a lot to handle. If we're able to do this silently, it's going to be big. 
think we've got most everyone tagged on this ship except for one. Ooh. Smooth operator. There it is. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we know we've got that that guy up top. This is Buffy. All clear. Nothing to report. There are lots of movement. I think it's just the creak of the ship, though. So yeah, we're gonna take that guy out. We know we had the captain up on the bridge as well. Some. He's down, and we've got a, a third alarm system. So there's three alarm systems on each ship. That's gonna be an issue. I wonder if we get up top. If we get up top where that Overwatch guy was, we can probably see our second one and then we can maybe get the back one of the other one. Yeah, we can We can definitely see the alarms from here. So we're gonna take down this alarm. I don't wanna shoot when somebody's near it though. I don't want them to think we're shooting at them. Can we see? Yes. Gotta take that out. Beautiful. I can't really tell which part I'm supposed to shoot at. Because the, the icon's in the way. We gotta aim just below the green. Sorry, that was really stupid. But, I mean, kind of bad placement for the icon. Couldn't tell how far down it was. Gonna wait for him to walk away. He's searching around for the... See, that's what I'm worried about. He's searching around for the bullets that we shot. If he thinks we're shooting at him, he's going to go sound the alarm. All the way up there. Okay. And then we've got ours just right here. Now, the problem is we've got to be sneaky to go destroy that last one, which is going to be... By far the hardest part. Okay. He's going up. I'm going down. Woo! Okay. Now the thing is, I think they have to have their person run to the alarm. Let's stay down for now. So I think if we just, I mean, now the sniper's pretty close to it. If we just hopped up and straight ran to it. We might have some decent luck. That also feels very ridiculous and unnecessary, though. Got it, Julio. Raisa's got your back too, Danny. Keep moving. Gracias, Raisa. No! No, they got it! No, dude, no! We were right there! There's no way! Dude, we had it! Okay, well, now we're just gonna have to deal with some helicopters and stuff. We're gonna have to go live. Rest in peace to my suppressor, dude. He thinks he's being sneaky. That's not gonna happen. Hardcore parkour. Come on. He's down. You guys quite literally are the terroristas. I'm taking anything and everything down. Anything that moves, you're getting shot, baby. Okay. We've got a sniper behind us. Gonna keep refilling ammo where we can. He's down. We're coming in here. Pretty sure we did. We, I, I think we unlocked a shotgun. I'm actually going to take the sniper off now. Let's let's put a shotgun. Yes, sir. Not the most effective thing in the world, but that'll get the job done. One down. We need some sort of a turret to take that thing down. Juan, you got my back, man. I gotta get to the other ship. Okay? 
Yo. Got him into his one. To be honest, the the excitement of, of killing all these guys is, is well worth it. This, this could be a bit of an issue for us if he sees us here. I legitimately cannot believe how close we were to, to shutting off the alarms, canceling all the reinforcements, and then right at the last second we got screwed. Down there. Okay. Almost done. There's some sort of a boss over here on the right. Eat that. He's got sh deployable shields. This ain't rainbow dog. Come on now. Is he dead? I think he's dead. There's one left. All the way back here, running away from us. There it is. I think. Are we good? Are we done? I think we're good to go. Clara, it's over. Let's get the fuck out of here. We couldn't have done it without you, Danny. We're not done yet. I'm going to hang back, set charges, and make sure those ships are blown to shit. Check in when you're done, Julio. Copy that. Danny, I'm on my way to pick you up. Ah, uh, I see her. Let's go! Get me out of here. That was... Not the most ideal situation. Got away from us there at the end, but... We made it. Viva Libertad, Danny. Fireworks show. I have to give you credit, Clara. You fucking did it. We did it, Danny. That was the difference. What's your plan when you reach America? Me and my friend Alejo were going to work shit jobs until we could scrape up some money, open a body shop. If the Yankee blockade taught us anything, it's how to keep things running when you got nothing. That's the dream. <laughs> sure, Yankees might pay you to park their cars or pick their fruit, but you'll never be one of them. The American dream doesn't come in our color. Okay. If we're shitting on dreams, what are you going to do if you win, Presidente Garcia? The next president won't last six months before they are assassinated. Wait, what? It's the truth. Won't free election solve that? What happened to your list? It's a vision, Danny. But I'm not as naive as you think. This revolution will free Yara, but won't fix it. When we take the capital, Yara will be burning. It will be civil war, factions, warlords, born-backed coups. Take your pick. Yarens will be killing Yarens for a generation. Uh-huh. This fight will take the rest of my life. Yare is stuck in a cycle of tyranny and revolution. My job is to show us how to break it. This isn't a dream, is it? You have to do this. It's a lifestyle. What makes you say that? No one would choose this. No, Danny. Everyone who follows me, who joins Libertad, chooses this. But you know, I can really see you stocking shelves in one of those giant Yankee supermarkets. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. No, no, no. Walmart Supercenter. look good in a little uniform, name tag, maybe a fancy apron. <sighs> Leave me out of your fantasies, Clara. I don't think it's it's time to give it up yet, Danny. Bienvenidos a mi casa. My favorite guerrillas. I missed my island. Tonight we celebrate. I'm sorry, Hefa. What's wrong? Julio never checked in. Mm. Coronado Prison. Julio. Libertad will kill you fucking through your eyes. Fedors! Criminales! <sighs> Mio, the difference between a true yarn and a fake yarn can be hard to see, but 
is there. A true Yaren understands that loyalty to country is key to his survival. Not justice, not love, not even family. Loyalty to a vision that looks beyond themselves. Come mierda. Fake Yarens love to be the outcasts. They are addicted to their selfish perversions. Chaos. Lies. Like wild dogs. But dogs can be broken. They can serve paradise. And if a dog refuses to break, like Julio here, like Clara Garcia, like Libertad, then we must put them down. Papa! You've proved your point. Put Julio down. Oh, come on. This is a difficult step to paradise, Mio. I understand. But when you achieve our vision, I promise you, there will be no more steps. I'm coming, Lita. Then, enjoy the show. <laughs> Once a Gideon, always a Gideon. Rule 20. That, that makes me sick. I can't wait to take him down. He sent it to them? Julio checked in. Proof of death. Join your friend Lita in a suite hereafter. I keep my promises, Danny. You wanted a boat, you got a boat. It's a beautiful piece of shit. It'll get you to a Yankee beach. One with the naked fatties. You two are just gonna let me leave? Bullshit. You could have sold us out a long time ago. You're my best kid here. I can't promise you victory, I can't even promise you survival. What I can promise you is this. You are the lucky one. That usually work? 50-50. We ain't leaving. We ain't leaving. Not gonna happen. All right, that's a good spot to stop this first episode, dude. I, this this game is incredible. It it the storyline obviously fantastic. It actually feels really good too, really smooth. Some of our stealth action and stuff has has felt pretty good. So I'm excited to keep on evolving, keep getting better, keep getting better equipment and, and leveling up and stuff like that. And um, I'm gonna see you guys in our next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Catch you all later. Drop a like if you guys want it very soon. Peace out.